Welcome to two projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project determining the efficiency of drugs under special conditions from users reviews on healthcare web forums. Before diving into the execution, let me give you an overview of the project. So when we are testing how well drugs work, we usually rely on traditional methods like clinical trials where researchers test their drugs on people or expert opinions. But sometimes these methods may not fully capture real world user experiences, especially for less common situations. People often share their experiences with drugs on websites where they talk about the efficacy of drugs. These stories can give us really useful information about how well drugs work in different situations. So we are diving into these online conversations to see what people are saying about how drugs work in special cases. So we want to understand if a drug helps with a rare condition properly or if it has side effects in certain groups of people. With machine learning, we can analyze tons of people's experiences shared online to understand drug effectiveness better. These algorithms help us pick out important details like whether people like or dislike a drug and why. By using this information, we can predict how well a drug might work in different scenarios, helping doctors and patients make better choices. So now we will look at the workflow. So we will be building various machine learning algorithms using healthcare web forums reviews dataset in this project. So these reviews contain valuable information about individuals' experiences with different drugs in various healthcare scenarios. So before training the models, we will pre-process the data set using steps like removing URLs, removing punctuation marks like commas, periods, and exclamation points as they don't convey important meaning in sentiment analysis. And we will remove stop words like and, the, is, as they occur frequently but don't carry significant information about drug effectiveness. Then we will normalize the text to a standardized common format. Then we will use techniques like lemmatization. That is, words are reduced to their base or dictionary form, which is called lemmas. For example, running and ran are both reduced to run. Similar to lemmatization, stemming is used to reduce words to their root form. So this pre-processed text is split into individual words or tokens to facilitate further analysis. Each word becomes a separate unit of analysis. So this is called as tokenization, word tokenization. After this, various techniques like VEDA sentiment, text blob, and FN, that is AFINN, -N, are used to predict the sentiment polarity of each review. These techniques assign a numerical score indicating the positivity or negativity of the sentiment expressed in the text. So based on the sentiment polarity scores, labels are assigned to the reviews. After that, tokenization is performed again using techniques like TF-IDF vectorizer, which converts the text into numerical vectors representing the frequency of each word's occurrence in the corpus. Later, features or attributes that are most relevant for predicting drug efficacy are selected from the data set. After all these steps, we will pre-process the data into train and test sets. Train set is for training the models and test set is for evaluating their performance. After that, various machine learning algorithms like logistic regression, support vector machine, random forest, MLP, etc. are trained to build predictive models. These models use the selected features to predict the efficacy of drugs under special conditions based on the sentiment and other attributes extracted from the reviews. So this is what happens in this project. Overall, the project aims to analyze user reviews, develop predictive models, and facilitate informed healthcare decision making. Benefits include providing insights, helping patients make informed decisions, and helping pharmaceutical companies tailor 
development strategies. Now we'll see the software and hardware requirements. So hardware requirements are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Software requirements to execute this project are application needed is Anaconda, primary language needed is Python, front-end framework required is Flask, back-end framework required is Jupyter Notebook, database needed is SQLite 3, and front-end technologies required are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Now we'll look at the algorithms built. So in the base paper, author has proposed these algorithms. For improved accuracy, we are proposing stacking classifier and voting classifier in this project. We will be building all these models, the models proposed by the author and the models we are proposing. And we'll compare their performance using different performance metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score, and select the best performing model for reviews classification. Now we'll understand about the algorithms which we have proposed. The first one is stacking classifier. So the stacking classifier is an ensemble learning technique that combines the predictions of multiple base classifiers to generate a final prediction. In this project, two base classifiers, random forest and MLP are used. And the predictions made by these base classifiers are then passed to a meta classifier in this project, it is light GBM classifier. It combines the predictions from random forest and MLP to make the final prediction. By leveraging the diverse strengths of the base classifiers and learning how to best combine their outputs, stacking aims to improve prediction accuracy compared to using any single classifier independently. Now coming to voting classifier, the voting classifier, similar to the stacking classifier, is an ensemble learning technique where multiple individual classifiers such as ADA Boost and Random Forest in this project are combined to make a final prediction. During training, these base classifiers learn from the data set and during prediction, their outputs are aggregated using a voting mechanism, either soft or hard voting. In soft voting, the predicted probabilities are aggregated, while in hard voting, the majority vote determines the final prediction. We are using soft voting in this project. So by harnessing the diverse trends of the base classifiers, the voting classifier aims to enhance prediction accuracy. So this is about the algorithms which we have proposed. And we have used LDA, that is latent Dirichlet allocation technique in this project. So LDA is a popular technique in natural language processing used for topic modeling. It helps in understanding the main themes or topics present in a large set of documents, making it easier to organize and analyze them. Now we will execute the project. So after comparing all these models, we have observed that Voting classifier has outperformed all other models in all the performance metrics. So we have deployed it in Flask web application. So we will be executing the project using Flask web application. Before that, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is the code folder and these are the contents I have in the code folder. I'm opening Archive folder where I have the Healthcare Web Forums Reviews dataset. I have already opened this dataset. So this is train set on which we'll train the models. So this dataset contains reviews from health forums with details like ID numbers, that is unique ID, drug names, condition treated, user comments, that is reviews, ratings, dates and useful count that is how helpful the comments were. So this data set gives us a peek into what people think about different drugs for different health issues. So this helps us understand how well drugs work in real life and can help doctors make better decisions for patients. On this data set, we will train the models. Similarly, I have test data set in which I have same columns. So on this data set, we'll evaluate the models 
which we have built will evaluate their performance. So this is about the data set. And this is static folder, which consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. And these are model files which contain algorithm information. These files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models. And these are notebook Jupyter source files. So these Jupyter source files contain combination of code, graphs, and outputs all in one place. So Jupyter Notebook allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. So this is the Jupyter source file for Affin Technic. This is the Jupyter source file for Text Blob Technic. And this is the Jupyter source file for Veda Sentiment Technic. This is topic modeling Python main code file. This is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. And this is sample file, which contains test cases on which we'll make the predictions, the classifications. Now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. Use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address localhost and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. And here we can see a sign up link, click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register ourselves first, fill in all these details and click on register button to sign up. And if we already have an account, we can directly log in by clicking on this link. So as I'm already a member, I'm clicking on this link. Here we have to give our credentials, username and password. I'm giving mine. And click on login button. So it has redirected us to the classification page. So we have built all the models on three different sentiment polarity techniques, Vader, text blob, and FN. That is why we had three different Jupyter notebooks in code folder. So we can execute the project using these three techniques. First, click on prediction link. Here we can see these three links, Vader, text blob, and FN. First, we'll execute the system built using Vader sentiment polarity technique. So click on Vader. So here we have to enter a text, enter a review, and the application will classify the sentiment from the review if it is positive, negative, or neutral. So we'll try that. I have entered this text. So I have took it from the sample file in which I have test cases. Now click on predict button. This is the entered text. And here we can see the class label that is negative. So the application has classified this text as negative. The review of the drug is negative. Scroll down to see the words dependent upon which 
the application has classified this text as a negative sentiment. We'll try again giving another text. Click on prediction link, click on Vader. I have entered this text. Now click on predict button. This is the entered text. And here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is positive. So dependent upon these words, the application has made this decision. So it has classified this text as positive text, a positive review. We'll try again. Click on prediction and Vader. Enter the text here. I have entered this text. Now click on predict button. This is the entered review and here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is positive. So these are the words which have influenced the application to take this decision. That is based on these words, the application has classified this review as a positive review. Click on prediction, click on Vader. We'll try giving some more test cases. I have entered this review. Now click on predict button. This is the entered text and here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is neutral. And dependent upon these words, the application has classified this review as a neutral review. Click on prediction link, click on Vader. I have entered this message, now click on predict button. This is the entered message and here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is negative. And here we can see the words dependent upon which the application has classified this review as a negative review. Now we'll try with text blob sentiment polarity technique. So we have to enter the messages here again. I have entered this message. Now click on predict button. This is the entered message. And here we can see the classification that is negative. And dependent upon these words, the application has classified this review as a negative review. Click on prediction link, click on text blob. I have entered this text. Now click on predict button. This is the entered text. And here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is neutral. Click on prediction link, click on text blob. Enter the message here. I have entered the message. Now click on predict button. This is the entered message. And here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is positive. And here we can see the words which have influenced the decision. I have entered this message. Now click on predict button. This is the entered message and here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is negative. And here we can see the words dependent upon which the application has classified this message as a negative message. Now we'll try with FN. So here we have to do the same. I have entered this message. Now click on predict button. 
this is the entered message and here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is positive so dependent upon these words the application has classified this review as a positive review we'll try again click on prediction link click on affin we'll try giving another test case this is the message i have entered now click on predict button so here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is negative so dependent upon these words the application has classified this review as a negative review similarly we can give any text and can get the classifications so we can make the predictions using weather text blob and fn sentiment polarity techniques i have entered this message now click on predict button this is the entered review and here we can see the classification that is the review of the drug is positive and these are the words dependent upon which the application has classified this review as a positive review so we were talking about weather text blob and fn sentiment polarity techniques so let us discuss about the difference between them thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe